Hey, hey, developers. I have a special announcement. Make sure you stay all the way to the end. Let's go. Hey, so today's announcement that I want to get out is something that's been in the works for a while. Uh, if you don't know, Dylan Israel, he, had a, he has a YouTube channel. It uh, used to be called Coding Tutorials 360. Some people know him as Coding God. Him and I have gotten together and created a podcast called Self Taught or Not. You can see here right on this webpage here. You just need to go to selftaughtornot.com. It's also a link in the description. And so we're really proud of this. It's all about the do's and don'ts of software development. If you don't know, the name comes from uh, self-taught, which if you don't know, Dylan Israel is completely 100% self-taught developer. He's actually been uh, doing uh, web development for a few years now. Actually, I think three years. He already has a six-figure job. Me, I am a traditionally taught software developer. I went and got a computer science degree years ago, and then I went back and got a, a master's. But we have a unique perspective in the industry and what's out there. So let, let me show you guys the episodes you guys can check out if you go and uh, look at this podcast. So like the first episode is what the heck is self-taught or not? We just give you a little explanation of basically what I'm doing here about what self-taught or not is about. Then we go into like how to make money as a software developer. Uh, you know, what, what does it mean? Um, how much money can you make? What should you expect from a medium cost of living area to high cost of living area when you're straight out of school or straight out of a boot camp versus been in the industry for a few years. Then we talk about blogging, like what are the tips and tricks you should do when you start blogging, you know, the different platforms where you should go. Then we go into like code mentorship, you know, why you should be a code mentor, how to get mentorship from other people. It doesn't mean you have to pay anybody. It's absolutely, you can get mentorship from someone like me or Dylan and just watch our YouTube videos. That can be kind of like a virtual mentor. We go all into all that. Then we talk about technical interviews. I know when I first started out as a developer, I really struggled at technical interviews. There's so many different strategies you can do from how do you pass like a whiteboarding algorithm to how do you pass those take home tests that you're gonna get? How do you pass the just interview when you talk to someone uh, about you know what your life's about? What are those common questions? We go over all of that in episode four. And then episode five is living in an agile world. If you are on a team or you're going to try to get a job, knowing a little bit about agile, the agile manifesto, what that was, where it came from, how do you work on a team nowadays with an agile team? What are sprints? All those things you've probably heard a lot about. If you work as a software developer, you probably uh, understand it, but we'll talk about different ways, different teams put together agile which I think is very interesting. It's all the point of view of as a software developer. How does it affect you? So this is, so we released the first five episodes. We're going to release a new episode every single Monday. Uh, we're going to do a, a complete season. We're going to do 24 episodes. We actually re already recorded like 17. I think we've actually recorded, yeah, 16 or 17 episodes. So we've almost recorded the whole season already. So we're going to keep releasing these every single every single week. We'd love to hear your feedback. So first, if you're listening and you have listened all the way to this point right now, we're about four minutes into the video. Thank you so much for not clicking away. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you are still listening, go to self taught or not, click the subscribe button at the top and you can find us by the way, you can also search on Apple iTunes from Google play, Stitcher, Spotify, any of those platforms, subscribe to it. If you're an uh, Apple podcast, you know, leave that review too. That really, we want to start getting some reviews in. Uh, yeah, so check it out, you know, 100% for free. This is just me and Dylan having fun talking about different topics. And uh, yeah, check it out for sure. I will uh, do this too. If you guys leave a comment below, I'm going to pick a couple random people to get a free course. Um, one will be my course. Uh, let's make it one Dylan's course and one my course. So my course is, of course, create awesome Vue.js apps, apps with Nux.js. I'll give one lucky person that course, and I'll pick one more random person to get uh, Dylan's new course, which is the 100 interview front-end interview question challenge course that he has. So what you need to do to win that, all you need to do is, hopefully you've been watching all the way to this point, leave a comment. 
and subscribe to the podcast in your podcast player. And uh, you can go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel too. That helps me out. So do those three things. Make sure you leave a comment because I have to know that, that you did it. And leave some kind of comment. Let me know what you think about the podcast or what podcasts. Um, yeah, just a little, yeah, what, what you think about the podcast. And then uh, make sure you subscribe to an iTunes or your podcaster of choice so you can check out Self Taught or Not. And, uh, you know, you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel. So I will be checking to see if you did all those. And I will pick two random people to receive a free course. And by the way, my course is like $89 normally. So you'll get that 100% free. And Dylan's course is normally like $14. So before I go, I'm going to put the last five minutes. I have a future episode of Self Taught or Not that you guys can check out. And by the way, let, let me say one more thing before I get too far. This podcast is really for you guys. Like we want everybody, everybody that's made it all the way, still listening to this point. It's made it. It's made for you guys. It's we're answering questions. This is great for new developers and also people who've who've had a few years doing development, but definitely great for new developers. And so we're really up for suggestions and ideas. If you have any of those, you know, leave it in the comment below. Let me know. But you know, we don't make any money off this. There's no sponsors or anything. We just really like talking about these subjects and teaching people and hopefully helping you guys. And that's what this is all about. So I'm going to leave you the last five minutes of this YouTube video will be a short preview of a of one of the future podcasts that we're going to do where we uh, talk about burnout. So, uh, you know, enjoy the next five minutes and that will be a future podcast episode that you will see. So make sure you subscribe to Self Taught or Not. Make sure you click on that link in the description below and and uh, enjoy and you know make sure you leave a description or a comment and maybe you will learn a free course. Thanks. All right, let's get into it. I don't even want to do this anymore. Some <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's that's a joke because today we're talking about burnout, um, which is sadly and unfortunately a real part of many careers, but a rampant issue in software development. Burnout, you can detect the burnout when you just start feeling really tired. You don't want to get up. You don't want to do anything anymore. Things that you used to love just start, you just don't love them as much. I don't know. It's just a really bad feeling when you hit that burnout phase. Yeah. And it's, although it's, it happens in other careers, it's for whatever reason in software development, it's one of the sort of number one plaguing issues with developers who go into the field and then they naturally transition to maybe be a scrum master or a product owner or to, to maybe cause they, you know, their love of it has sort of died because of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a story about that. You know, do you want me to share right now? No, no, that's not what this podcast is about. Yeah, man. <laughs> go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead and share. Okay. So I was in my last job, I was working on Java development for years and years. And I got to a point where like the challenge was not as much as it used to be. I was kind of just going through my pacing every day. It was at times a slow paced job. So we were kind of just waiting for things to come in. And I definitely thought at one point, like maybe I should become like a team or become like a, get into a different role other than development. I was thinking about being a manager at one point. I was thinking about joining project management at one point because I was now looking back on it, I was just burned out. I was like, I'm not learning anything. You know, I'm, I don't, I don't love what I'm doing anymore. It wasn't like I was, I know some people get burned out when they just have tons and tons of work and they keep doing the same thing over and over again for, for a certain period of time. It was almost like that was sort of part of it, but it was almost like, I don't know. I just like lost the challenge of going to work and it wasn't as fun anymore. Yeah. And that's understandable. Cause I mean, part of the reason that I love being a developer, and I think a lot of people do is that you're, it's, it's one of those careers where you're usually doing something new, even if it's just the same thing in a different way. But you know, part, part of the reason 70% of people on average hate their job, actually hate, not dislike, not kind of neutral, but hate their job is because they're doing the same thing every single day and they're just ready for it to end. Like I can't do it anymore. And I, you know, you can get that way in software where you're just like, all right, I'm doing it again. Um, I'm sick of arguing with people about how to do it this way or that way. <laughs> and it, 
it's uh you know you lose a little bit of that uh that enjoyment along the way now i would say for me personally the um and i think more commonly what people get burned out on is not sort of the repetition but sort of the the company and maybe the uh, business environment to a degree if you feel well go get, get into that a little bit more yeah. i definitely feel like that that that's happened to me too yeah so i i think it's happened to 90% of of software um developers where being a software engineer is a very unique position i've talked about this quite frequently where there are very few people who can do your job you know you might have a you know um you'll hear a lot of times when in agile about cross training and things like that where you know the scrum mat you you should be able to do the scrum master role you should be able to do the business analyst role and everyone contributes and that's a fantastic idea until it comes to them doing the dev role which then becomes an issue because they can't um and so a lot of responsibility typically lands on the dev the project manager needs to go know what's going on with the ticket that goes to the dev qa needs to know how to and do the ticket that goes to the dev the business analyst doesn't fully understand the requirements and the dev needs to explain it to them that goes to the dev um you know it it's one of those roles where there's a lot of responsibility and because of that you have a lot of things that encroach on your space and add a lot of stress and naturally businesses want to get as much out of the developer as possible and they usually do that by just ridiculous deadlines by um just trying to squeeze them dry you know you're in a bad organization if that is the norm it's like we don't care about you know we care about these deadlines you have to hit them no matter what here is you you're going to have to work on the weekends it's going to be super high stress yeah um, environment and those if you're in an environment like that try to get out 